Hello everyone, this is Agent Ice, and I am back with some more Sonic Origins related content. Now, there's some news I want to share with you if you haven't seen it. I think it's awesome news, very excited about it. I really am. And part of it is really, really good news. And it kind of goes along with what I've been saying I really wanted to see in Sonic Origins. So for those of you who have watched my streams, either live or recorded, I have talked uh, on several occasions about how there is a character that I actually kind of like mechanically in these games that I wish was playable. And guess what? That character is <laughs> going to be added to this game. Now, again, if you've watched me, you know who I'm talking about. For those of you who don't, you're going to find out here very soon. So let's get to the news. So here we go. June 23rd, 2023. We are getting Sonic Origins Plus. Oh, yeah. So this summer, the Blue Blur is back with the definitive and expanded multi-game collection of classic Sonic the Hedgehog games. Sonic Origins Plus. Available digitally, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so. With remastered visuals, bonus characters, added modes and challenges behind the scenes, content and more while added for significant improvements. Yeah, I don't know if they're talking about the game in general or if they're talking about this is coming uh, as a result of this DLC. I'm hoping there will be some improvements or something with the DLC. That would be great. One of the more exciting new upgrades is the addition of 12 Sonic Game Gear titles. So those of you who aren't familiar, Sega had like this little handheld thing called the uh, the Game Gear. And I played one once. I don't know how popular it actually was, but they had their Game Gear and I don't even remember if it took CDs or cartridges. I assume it was cartridges, but You'd have these little games, you'd plug into it, and yeah, well, you'd play them. Not... I wasn't too thrilled with most of the games on it. They were okay, but, you know. Anyway. Uh, bringing a total of 16 classic Sonic titles together in one timeless collection. Now players can spend fan favorite games such as Sonic the Hedgehog 2, which I guess was also on Game Gear. Sonic Drift 2, Sonic Triple Trouble. I did play that one. Tales is Adventure. I don't think I played that one. I can't remember. Which will all be emulated and playable in the museum. So if you buy this DLC when it comes out, you download it. You're going to be able to go to the museum in game and play. It's not going to be on the main menu. It is in the museum. Now, Sonic the Hedgehog 2, I don't know if there's anything different about it significantly on the game gear. Because we already have Sonic the Hedgehog 2, so I, I don't know how different it is, if it is at all. And if it is different, why would you want to play it through there instead of just like the normal Sega Genesis version? But yeah, whatever, whatever. Get some pictures here. I'm guessing this is Sonic Drift 2. And maybe this is the. Game Gear version of Sonic 2. I don't know. It's kind of interesting. There's an octopus guy there, and I don't know what that block with the X is. That's kind of weird. Anyway, ah. But that's not all. Fans will also be able to play as, and this is the part that I like. This is the part that I like. You'll be able to play as Amy Rose in all four of the classic Sonic games. So again, I've said many times, you know, I know Amy Rose isn't exactly the most popular character, but I kind of like her, especially mechanically in games. She has some cool stuff. She, um, you can see she has the hammer here. She doesn't uh, like somersault jump into enemies to, to injure them. She doesn't spin dash. At least she I, unless they give her a spin dash in this game, she usually would do like a skip thing. And then could do like a baseball slide. But anyway. Um, but yeah, you whack stuff with your hammer to kill it. 
We'll see what kind of moveset she gets, but I'm expecting maybe it'll be like the Sonic Adventure games for the Game Boy Advance. We'll see, though. We'll see, though. Um, but yeah, you'll be able to play as Amy Rose in Sonic 1, Sonic 2, and Sonic, uh, Sonic 3 and Knuckles, and Sonic CD. If you're a big Amy fan, you can choose her in the character select menu, then speed down memory lane, wielding her Pico Pico hammer. So yes, it's called a Pico Pico hammer. Again, that's it. Plus, Knuckles will be playable in Sonic CD. So fans can challenge themselves. So you've got Knuckles in Sonic CD, and then you've got Amy in all four of the base games uh, for Sonic Origins that you can play. I think that's pretty cool. I think that's really, really cool. Current owners of Sonic Origins, the Plus expansion pack will be available separately at $9.99. So it's like 10 bucks, essentially. Make sure you still, you know, so some of you might be thinking, okay, 10 bucks for this. I don't know. You know, I'm going to buy it. But I could see where some people might be like, do you want 10 bucks for that? You know, I don't know what enhancements are going to come with it. So maybe wait and see what all the information is. And we might get some leaks here, too, before this comes out. But. Yeah, so you'll get Knuckles and, and Sonic CD. You'll get Amy Rose and all four of the base games. Plus, you're getting 12 Game Gear games. Now, maybe you don't like the Game Gear games. You're not interested in it. OK, yeah, I, I can understand that. I'm not huge into the Game Gear games myself, but maybe I'll play them since they're going to make them available. Maybe you're not a big Amy Rose fan, but you like the Game Gear games. You know, well, Amy Rose is just one playable character. and Admittedly, that's not a whole lot of content unless you really just enjoy playing her. So maybe if you like the Game Gear games, but maybe not so much Amy Rose, it's going to be more worth it. You know, and of course, you're always going to have those people that are they're thrifty, right? They aren't going to just throw their money at the game and they're going to wait for a sale anyway. And you know what? That's perfectly fine, too. I'm sure that if you wait, the game, the, you know, the DLC will probably be half off. Or if you don't own the game at all, you might be able to snag the game and the plus DLC together for, you know, in a bundle for a nice price. You know, that that happens all the time. But anyway, I'm really excited about this. I don't care too much for Sonic CD. I don't know if I care too much about the the Game Gear games myself, but I'll probably play them. Or at least some of them. I'm really excited about Amy Rose, though, and so I'm going to have to do a stream sometime where I play through the games as Amy Rose and kind of just see how she handles the the games. Definitely looking forward to it. Maybe maybe I'll have like um, maybe I'll have Amy Rose week, right? One day I'll play Sonic one as her. Another one I'll play Sonic two and then I'll end the week with Sonic three and Knuckles. It's only stream three days a week. I think that could be good. I think that could be really good. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I want to see what they do with her, what kind of moveset she gets. Again, I know you're going to be whacking stuff with her hammer, but yeah, this is this is fantastic news, in my opinion. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. You found it informative. And if you made it this far and you want to see more, uh, give me a like and maybe throw me a subscribe so you get a notification when I upload more stuff. A lot of what I'm doing is just gameplay videos through the Sonic games. Maybe I'll do some other stuff once I kind of play through all the ones that I want to play. But, oh, we'll see. And feel free to stop by when I'm streaming and say hi. And as always, folks, take care. I hope you have a great rest of your day. But for now, this is Agent Ice signing off.